Hey, this week I've been messing with glass arrowheads. Never really messed with them before. I was out walking the river bottom looking for like agates and crystals we've been finding lately. And I've been finding a lot of this old glass that's washed up. Uh, a lot of it, I mean, can be, is up to at least a hundred years old, some of it. So I've been trying to find the flatter pieces of glass, like old gin bottles that had four flat sides. A lot easier to working with it uh, than a new bottle top, but uh, uh, this, this is my first one that I made. It came out not too bad, and it's hard to see. This camera is not so great, but uh, you got pretty good sharp edges on it. I'm still working on all these right now. Um, I'm actually not using um, tools like like the uh, flakers and stuff. I'm using stuff that I'm finding, uh, like deer antler and pieces of other pieces of flint with, with little nubs on them. That's what I've been chipping with. This is a, a spearhead I've been working on. I'm trying to early style spearhead. It's got a pretty good edge on it. And I'm still working on this this other arrowhead here. Now it's hard to see. I'm sorry about that. Since I get a better video. Still working on all these and then I'm working on making a knife out of this. This is really thick glass. I've been having kind of a hard time chipping it, but it it's coming out pretty well. I plan on putting a deer antler handle on it. Um, like I say, you know, I haven't been using specially made tools to make these just stuff that I'm actually finding out in the field. I figure if I'm in a survival situation, I'm not going to have the specially made tools to make this stuff. So like I said, I've been using, you know, say like pieces of flint with nubs on just various pieces. I've been, even been using, you know, this deer antler, this little old patch knife I made a long time ago. The, that works pretty well. Uh, another thing I've been working on, uh, just for fun, we got some pipe stone from Minnesota. I've been working on this pipe for a while, just sanding it down and, and filing it and, and using a knife, an old knife. And it's coming out pretty well. It's, yeah, like I said, it's solid stone. It's pipe stone. You need to put like a, I made it so you could put like a reed stem on it. Now I'd like to uh, put some designs in there if possible. And another thing I've been working on this week, I've been making this bowl. This is some aspen that I had found when I was in the woods not too long ago that had fallen over. Uh, and it's hard to see how deep it is. It's it's pretty deep. It's almost to the bottom of this. I've been burning it out using coals. It's been working pretty well. I uh, put water in it last night, let it sit overnight. And it has uh, it held water all night despite the cracks that are in the bottom. Aspen's probably not the best wood to use. Uh, that's what I've been working on this week. Uh, appreciate you watching. I'll see you again next time.